Okay. So here we are ready to start painting our impossible shape. And while this may seem a little daunting, really all this is is three graded value scales. So the most important thing to do first is to get out your small um, reference that I gave you for your impossible shape. And then you wanna make sure that your little reference picture is turned the exact same way as your drawing sitting in front of you. So if you look here, this makes an L, this makes an L, okay? There's no break. And then this one, L, no break. And then this one, L, no break. So I have my picture turned the right way. If I'm gonna put my lightest value here. My hue is going to be here at the bait, at the bottom of the V. And then as I move up this way, it's gonna be where I start toning my color, okay? And if you'll look at your image, it's a really dark tone here. So I wanna kind of play with all of these and make adjustments to get it as close to this as I possibly can. Now, I'm gonna start with my opposite color on the color wheel for my red violet is yellow green. Get my brush wet for starters just to soften it up. Get all the water out. And guys, this is my paint that I mixed up on Saturday and it's Thursday and it's still going strong because I've been keeping it in this container. So I'm gonna start with my, my lightest value first. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of white and slide some white over here off to the side so that I can get my lightest tint going. And I'm trying to get it pretty close to what I practiced in my sketchbook as that first value. So I may need to pull in a bit more white. And this is just tiny little bits of mixing, so I'm not gonna use my palette knife. It's okay to use my brush. I'm cleaning off the extra paint here on the edge of my plate. So I've only got a little bit. And then I'm going to oh so carefully. This time I'm really gonna go slow and make sure that I stay in the lines. Start working the edges. I'm gonna push the paint just a little bit over the edge of the red so that I don't end up with any white paper showing at all. And just slowly start kind of building that color in there. Really slow it down and take your time. There's not that much space left to paint. So going slow will help it be really accurate and crisp. Your brush does all of the hard work if it's turned the correct way here. Tail is pointed back towards you so that you can see where you're working. It's gonna help get everything nice and smooth. And build enough paint up on there. You've got a decent little amount of coverage. I'm gonna go a little bit farther than what I really want this lightest value to go. And that's gonna give me, while it's still wet, a little bit of room here to go ahead and pick up my hue and begin to start mixing that in right on the page. So I'm not even gonna mix it over my palette. I'm just gonna work right here on my canvas and do a little bit of mixing right into that wet paint. Now, it's just gonna keep pushing if I don't take all of this paint out of my brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my brush. I didn't even rinse it with water. I just want more of a dry brush so that I can blend those two colors together softly. It's almost like a pat-pat more than a brush. Change your direction so you remove any brush lines and then carry on building it up. Got this little clump of paint. He can't stay there like that so I'm just going to keep slowly working him around until he starts to spread out. really 
brush strokey right now. I'm just gonna keep smoothing gently. Gentle little pats. I'm not pushing hard at all. I can see I'm getting one of those little lift off spots. That means I've worked that spot too much. So I'm just gonna leave him be. Because if I keep fussing with him, which is just natural, you wanna fix it right away. But if I keep doing it, it's just gonna get worse and worse. So I'm gonna just stop, let it be, and move on. He's gonna need two coats anyway. I'll catch it on the trip back. So this, corner is where I should be built back up to my true hue. And then as I turn the corner and start moving up the other direction, I'm going to start building in to that tone. You can see I'm constantly turning my painting so that my brush is towards my tummy, the tail of my brush, and that way that I, it's easier for me to see the edge. I wouldn't want to leave it like this and try and turn my brush this way. I have no accuracy that way. Just flip your painting around, and this is where, because our paint tends to be a little bit transparent, I'm going to tell you to push it up over the red a little bit, but just know that that red's going to peek through, and that's where those extra coats are going to have to come in. To pull that color up or else your your reds darker color it's just going to keep showing through okay now i'm going to pull in a little bit of the complementary color to start toning this okay so i'm going to pull a little bit of that red in and because we know yellow is one of the hardest colors to tone it's going to push it a little bit brown to counterbalance that, I'm going to pick up a little teeny bit of blue, and that's going to help kind of cool it down so it doesn't look so brown. This is just a little notch darker, not much. this true green over here to warm, dial up this green a little bit. Yellow green, get a little deeper value. background second coat is going to make all the difference now this is still not I've got not enough deep color on this end because I want to push it to where it looks like that deep okay that dark so I'm gonna need to pull some more intensity of color in here to get this to really go dark See how I'm getting two colors sneaking out there at once. Got this like rainbow effect happening in my brush. So I'm just gonna dry it off, pick up just the color, make sure it's mixed really well before that can happen. There we go. That's good. So 
we're starting to really get our graded value effect. Like I say, it's a little brush strokey right through here. It's okay. We'll come back and tweak it once this dries a little bit on the second coat. That'll help. It's just gonna keep pulling off. So let that dry and go to the next one. My next one So my next one, light goes here. So light, medium, or the hue, and finishing with dark here. So now you wanna clean your brush out. Really get it clean. And we're gonna do the exact same thing all over again. Mm-hmm. 